All right, I did a partial replication of John Bedini's latest circuit, and uh, he's calling it an earth light. And this is by John Bedini, and it's a real interesting one. Um, he's using a magnesium ribbon and carbon rod battery with a slight moisture inside a plastic tube. And then he's running this circuit here, which is a single transistor voltage booster that uses a two uh, chokes right here, and then uh, uh, one NPN transistor and a capacitor to light up an LED at about 3.5 volts, coming off of about 0.75 volts from that battery. And uh, I don't know what his amp draw is, but I did replicate this today, but the amp draw was very high the way I did it. I didn't have the correct chokes here. Mine were 10 uh, millihenry instead of 15 millihenry. But anyway, I got it to work. And uh, it's my little setup right here. And it's just a bright white LED, a transistor, two of these chokes, and a capacitor. There's no resistor in this. Now, I added one here on the plus rail to try to regulate it a little bit. But I wanted to keep this a pure replication to start out with. And that's what he always tells us. He says, you know, don't try to vary anything until you get it to work and then go from there. So anyway, uh, you can see the uh, voltage on the capacitor here. That's a super cap. is 0.62 volts. I'm going to jolt this with a 1.5 volt battery and uh, put this up to about a volt. And then watch this bright white LED come on. Get some more juice here. Keep tapping this till this capacitor. It's a super cap, so it takes a while to fill this thing up. Okay, that's good enough. But this is a very, very bright white LED, and I like that. Uh, it's just the amp draw for me was way up there, 20, 30 milliamps, unless I put a resistor in the circuit. But uh, anyway, it does work, and it works way on down there to around. Uh, three quarters of a volt and this will go off here in just a second and I'll show you what the voltage is when it goes off this is the capacitor draining down mine goes a little less than uh, three quarters of a volt it's uh, 0.6 something when it stops so stop in just a second here but I was impressed with it. It's a kind of a neat circuit. It's not a toroid, a jewel thief. It uses two inductors um, and then no resistor <laughs> and just a capacitor. And I had to fiddle around with it for quite a while before I got it to work. And then I finally did get it to work. Okay, she's down to about 0.65 volts and there it just went off. So that's where mine stops at 0.65. Now the other part of this, this battery part, I did have one and that's it right there in the plastic tube. It's a much smaller one and I have it running my um, pulse motor here. And uh, I, I like this design. I didn't have them in a plastic tube. Uh, this is one that I already had made, but I like this idea. You just put a little water in the bottom of the tube there and capillary action brings the water up that uh, uh, rod um, and it keeps the electrolyte going on it. Uh, this had dried out completely. I built this months and months and months ago. And as soon as I got this wet, off it went again. And uh, uh, this is Laser, Laser Saber's idea. And John Bedini and I and a bunch of other people have replicated it. But I believe he's the first one that came up with this wrapping of the carbon or graphite rod um, with magnesium ribbon. And there's cotton between the magnesium ribbon and the, and the graphite or carbon rod. If I had a carbon rod like what John is using, I'd get better performance out of it. I could not get that little tiny rod to run this. It just wasn't enough. But uh, it does run the pulse motor, and of course it'll run a regular Jewel Thief pretty well. So anyway, that's the latest for today. Go on over to uh, John Bedini's uh, site and take a look at his new circuit. Um, really liked it. Thought it was a real fun one. Thanks for watching.